Joining us now from Fort Worth in Texas is Tarrant County GOP Chairman Bo French. Bo French, thank you so much for joining us on Election Day. What's the feeling where you are and what are you hearing from voters in Texas? Well, thanks for having me on. I can tell you that enthusiasm here for Donald Trump is very high. Uh, Kamala just is not a very inspiring candidate. I think uh, what we've seen in the early voting numbers is uh, a pretty substantial lead among Republicans, which is unusual because usually Republicans wait until election day to vote. And uh, it looks like because, uh, like I said, she's just not a very inspiring candidate. Democrats mm. are staying home. Republicans are out voting in force. A CNN exit poll has just dropped. It says about three quarters of voters hold negative views of the way things are going in the United States. Does that surprise you? Not at all. I mean, in the last four years, we've had estimates as high as 20 million illegal aliens flood our country, increasing crime in almost every city. Um, you know, murderers, rapists, uh, plus you couple that with inflation here, we've had pretty significant inflation. I mean, most things cost almost 50% higher now than they did four years ago. And so people really just uh, recognize that uh, leadership under Democrats is just not, not good for America. We're not as safe, we're not as prosperous. Can you describe to us just how important the issue of the border is where you are? Well, I think that the issue of the border is important no matter where you are, but certainly here in Texas, and, and of course I spend a lot of time down near the border. And I can tell you that along the actual border, it's extraordinarily dangerous. I mean, when you just have that many people flooding across, uh, totally unvetted, we don't know who they are, all kinds of criminals. Uh, it's just, it's overwhelming the resources of these small towns along the border. Uh, but then, of course, they're being bussed and flown all over the country. They're in every major city. Uh, you know, you, you've probably seen in New York City, they're putting them up in, in nice hotels and uh, we have NGOs here just funneling cash to them and really putting them on a fast track to getting legal status in this country, which, of course, will lead to 20 million new Democrat voters. So I, all of this is a, a premeditated attack on the United States by the Democrat Party. And I think what we're going to see uh, at the close of polls today is an overwhelming rejection of that. Donald Trump made a major policy announcement just a couple of days ago that on day one as president, he would impose a 25% tariff on all goods from Mexico if its government didn't help seal the southern border. What do you make of this announcement? Did he leave it too late or, or do you think it'll actually make a difference? Well, here's the thing about Donald Trump that, that people forget is he's a master negotiator. He actually, when he was president between 2016 and 2020, when when there were some, uh, I, you might have remembered the migrant caravans approaching the United States and Donald Trump negotiated with Mexico and put the pressure on them to help stem the tide of, of those um, who were trying to enter illegally. And if you remember, the illegal crossings in our country went down dramatically. And so uh, all of that was because he negotiated that. Um, so whether or not he ends up putting that uh, on, putting those tariffs on Mexico remains to be seen, but it certainly is a negotiating tactic to pull them into the process and get them doing their job on their side of the border. And look, if if it turns out they don't do that and we, and we put a tariff on there, uh, you know, I think Elon Musk has talked a lot about what those tariffs would mean um, just globally. Um, you know, trade is important to America, but uh, having manufacturing in the United States is important to us as well. Mm. And so I, I think that we are going to see more tariffs under the Trump don't administration. Know. Donald Trump has really created what appears to be a pretty big movement behind him with the MAGA movement. He's got RFK Jr. behind him on doing Maha. If Donald Trump is not elected, if he's not the 47th president of the United States, what are your predictions? What do you expect will happen? Well, God help us all if he's not the president. But to answer your question, I think, uh, look, all of these people who you mentioned are people who are interested in, in seeing America a better place, right? Um, whether it's RFK Jr. making America healthier again, whether it's Elon Musk, uh, you know, out there proposing people really embrace some, some of the core tenets of, uh, of our freedoms and liberties here in the United States. So I think there is this movement of people who will continue to do that work no matter what, but they will be far more powerful and effective under a Trump presidency because they'll really be empowered to, uh, to really make the change that, that we really feel like we need to make here in America.
Staying on that hypothetical, if Kamala Harris wins, what type of president can we expect to see? She's flip-flopped on so many issues. What are we going to get? Well, I mean, that, that's the thing. Who knows? Uh, we, her actual voting record that we know about when she was in the Senate was left of self-avowed socialist Bernie Sanders. So I would imagine she will just continue to be a far left radical loon, uh, just as she has always been in her career. Uh, I think the people behind the scenes, I mean, we don't even really know who's president now or who, who at least is pulling the strings now, uh, but clearly it is, it is someone or some group of people who are, are far left radical activists really trying to destroy the fabric of our country by, by attacking every you know main freedom and liberty that we have enshrined in our constitution and so uh plus plus just the instability around the world i mean we're on the brink of world war three with the middle east and and with with russia so i i just think that um and not to mention china and taiwan i mean there, there's just mm. so much that could go wrong in the world we we need a strong america uh, the world needs a strong america so that we can help bring peace to the world Tarrant County GOP Chairman Beau Friend, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.